To be sure you never miss a Tech Ninja video, tap on the bell icon right next to subscribe. Hey, what's up guys? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja and today we're talking about the Galaxy Note 8. Now when I picked the phone up for the very first time, I instantly got the nostalgic feel. It does feel like the Note 7, but the design is more squared off, meaning it's grippier than the S8 and the S8 Plus, but it has that bigger screen. It's a 6.3 inch infinity display with that 18.5 by nine aspect ratio. Even though the screen is much bigger, the Note 8 is almost the same size as the Note 7, just being a bit taller and practically the same width. Now look at it next to the S8 Plus and you can definitely see how it is taller. It's a 2K panel and it comes with those things like uh, mobile HDR, AMOLED technology. So the colors do pop off this panel and is virtually no bezel. Samsung obviously makes a beautiful screen and a beautiful phone. And when you're holding in your hand, you really get that immersive experience but it's just like the S8 Plus, if you're wondering. Now, as far as how the hardware goes, it's still made from the same finish and is IP68 certified, meaning you get the water and dust resistance. A combination of metal and Gorilla Glass 5 all around looks good, but it does attract tons of smudges. I've been wiping this phone down for the last 10 minutes during making this video. So you know what I do guys, just like I have on my S8, I'm gonna cop myself a D-brand skin. Hit the link down below and get your D brand for your device, and especially when the Note 8 comes out, make sure you pick up a couple D brands to go with it. Now you'll also find the power button, the volume rocker, the Bixby button, all in their normal positions. But it's the back is where we see the major change versus the Note 7. Since Samsung removed its hardware home button for a haptic one, the fingerprint scanner stays in that uncomfortable position near the camera. It's not under the screen like we were hoping for. Now I did have troubles using it on the S8 Plus. I actually ended up trading in my S8 Plus for the normal S8 and I know this phone is gonna be the same. But now there's an additional camera to worry about. I don't think it's gonna be easy to use but before I give my final judgment, I am definitely gonna use it for a little bit of time. I think with the two cameras on the back, you sort of have that Futurama bender look but I actually like it better than how it looks with the one camera, but that's just me. Now speaking of camera, the Note 8 is Samsung's first ever dual camera phone. You get two 12 megapixel sensors, one with an f1.7 wide angle lens and the other with an f2.4 telephoto lens. Now both sensors do support optical stabilization, which is a world's first, but only the wide angle lens comes with dual pixel autofocus. The telephoto lens allows for 2x optical zoom, and Samsung also brought this really cool live focus feature, which allows you to control the focus of a picture live after it's been taken. It's fair to say photos and videos will come out much better, mainly because of the optical image stabilization on both sensors, which also helps with night shots. Now let's delve a bit deeper into using the phone. Being a Note, you'll get the return of the S Pen with the Note 8. Bring the S Pen out, man. You haven't used it All yet. All right, I'm just sending these pictures to us. Oh my God, Drew. All right, ready for the S Pen? Ready for the S Pen? Whip that spin out, bro. Been through everybody. Ready? <laughs> yeah, go. The pairing between software and the S Pen is nice to see. And you get some really nifty features like live messaging. This lets you draw a gift to other people, which is pretty fun. Now, if you're looking for something that provides more of a useful feature, then there's things like you can hover over a value for a quick exchange rate conversion, translation, or you can actually do the screen off memo, which is actually one of my favorite features from the notes here. Do some productivity, man. Now the screen off memo is actually pretty dope if you've never used it. Now if you don't know what screen off memo is, it's actually really cool. When the screen is completely off, you take the pen out the bottom and then you can actually write on the screen. It takes very little battery because the pixels are black unless you actually write on them. And what they added to it is now you can do up to 100 pages. The overall UI on the Note 8 stays pretty similar to the S8 and the S8 Plus. It's the Samsung Experience Launcher and to be honest, it's snappy, but we are using this phone in a controlled environment and I don't have any apps on it just yet. Now there's Bixby as well as the usual Samsung software all on it. The Snapdragon 835 processor in the phone and for the first time on a Samsung device, we're getting six gigabytes of RAM. But in my experience, Samsung's UI does tend to slow down with time. So I don't know if throwing RAM in it is going to actually fix the issue for me. I will give a better judgment during my full review, but so far so good. With all that being said, there's no doubt that it's packed with 
features. The Note always brings the best features. Iris and face to unlock the always on display and multi window have been my favorite on Samsung flagship devices as of late. And the new app pairing feature, although I may not use it, I can definitely see it being useful. Now using this, you can set two apps to launch together by default in the multi window pane, saving you some time in the process. And that's what the Note 8 has in store for us. It comes in four different colors. You have the, the normal three, which is midnight black, orchard gray, and maple gold, and it's also a brand new color, deep sea blue. Only the black and gray variants will be coming to the US market, and the price has not been official just yet, but we're hearing upwards towards a thousand bucks. I'm in New York City right now. There's construction sound all over me, and I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja, and I'll talk to you guys in my dojo. Peace out. Man, you're looking, you're looking like you're mad confused. Uh, this is my face. Being out today of the Note 8. I love that both the cameras have a lot of working stabilization on them. So the rear camera set up. Oh, man. You look ridiculous. The thing, though, that kind of okay. irks me is you have a wooden lens and a telephone. Yeah, where's your old face, man? It's just a regular old face. That's my thumbnail. You ain't got no old face.